Hey guys, it's May, and it's that time. We're gonna build my computer. Um, if you're interested in seeing what parts were used and what all I picked out, uh, go ahead and check out my unboxing video. I'll link it in the cards up above. Uh, yeah, so this is what we're getting into today. This is obviously the motherboard. Uh, I am not a professional, let's just say that right off the bat. Not a professional, I did a lot of learning while I was putting all this stuff in, so you might see some mistakes that I have to go back and correct. I don't think I edited all of those out, but if I did, there was definitely mistakes and things that I had to redo. Um, yeah, it was, it was a great learning experience and really satisfying overall, like to run, like I'm editing this video on my brand new computer that I built. It was really kind of cool. Um, yeah, so that's, that's what we're doing today. As you can see, I've already put in the Ryzen processor. I would say that's probably the scariest thing that I did in this whole build because it's that very first piece that you have to put in. And then up next, it would be this piece right here because it kind of has to go in at an angle and you're just like worried the whole time that maybe you'll break something. Just a heads up, I know I'm missing a post screw here. I am also didn't put in a heat sink um, cover that was ba on back order at the time of building this and it took it a little while for it to show up and everything I saw or watched said it was okay to wait to put the cover on so I went ahead and moved forward without the cover and then when I went in to put the cover in that's when I realized I was missing this post screw so that is fixed there's no error there so that was really nerve-wracking for me. I just, I didn't want to break anything. This stuff was expensive. Speaking of, my experience in buying all of this stuff, all of this is listed um, in my description box down below, and it's in our, on the, it's going to be on an Amazon storefront if you are interested in buying any of those. It is an affiliate link, and it does help me out, but it doesn't cost you any extra. However, I bought all of my stuff at Micro Center. So if you have a Micro Center near you, I know they're like really few and far between. There's not a lot out there. But if you do, you should check them out because they price match. So I went in thinking, I'm just going to come in and buy like the things that are cheaper here and I'll buy the rest from like Newegg or Amazon. You know, I'll shop around. And I took my list in and the guy's like, oh, well, we price match all of it. So he just took my whole list and he gave me the best deal on everything. I will say the only thing he could not price match was my power supply. I don't know if I just had like a really good deal or what, but he, he's like, I can't give you that much off on that power supply. So I had to order that um, and I ordered it from Amazon. So it only took two days to come anyways. So they, they say they price matched. Uh, and they do to an extent um, and then like there were things that I had to change they didn't have the case that I had picked out but they had one that had all the same features and actually had extra fans than what I had originally picked out so like there's a few things that we had to change up um, but I don't feel like I lost out in any quality by doing those changes right so I did I didn't just let him talk me into whatever changes I did kind of look up the change he was offering and then make the decision from there. So that's an option. If you have a micro center near you, I, I would say go in. Like it was it was worth going in and, and checking out. Um Okay, so now like I I don't even know. We missed a few things I'm sure that I put in there. Right now we're working on the cooler, the CPU cooler. As far as the CPU cooler goes, it really wasn't that difficult um, overall. I would say it was a little bit tedious because of having to like place it just right and place all the screws just right but that's a good majority of the whole build uh, but as far as like difficulty goes I don't think there I didn't really have any issues with installing the CPU cooler
there's a lot of like screwing stuff down in this part it's just I was trying to just work like a little bit at a time a little bit at a time I wanted to, I was I don't know I guess I had a fear that maybe you could like crack your motherboard and I was just like I will not I will not be that person who cracks their motherboard <laughs> so I was trying to go like super meticulous and like little bit by little bit I will say here with installing the actual fan piece it didn't snap on right at, at first and I think you'll see me kind of fiddle with it a little bit yeah here um, because the one side like snapped really really flush and really nicely and the other side did not and so I kind of had to like wiggle it just to get it to connect the way that it was supposed to that was really weird to me I'm like I don't understand why this side's not going flush but eventually it, it did kind of snap into place the way it's supposed to one thing I did notice with this motherboard that I picked out is the labeling for all of these pieces like the fan the like power all of the the places where you like plug in connectors the labeling wasn't always consistent to what is like quote unquote standard that i was seeing in a lot of other people's videos so that was a little frustrating to me because it was like having to look up what their labeling meant so that that was irritating the other thing is that back plate back there um i cannot for the life of me remember what it is called right now i will try to like put it up on the screen here um i i don't know that this is necessarily the case fault or the the fault of like the motherboard but it did not snap in like there was no way for that to snap in at all so i was having to like hold it there and like press the motherboard in to get it aligned right before I started putting screws in. And then me, I thought I had all of the little screw peg holes set up and I did not. Mine is a mini board. It's not a long, it's not like a full size board. So normally your board would go all the way down to those gold um, screws that you can see in the very bottom of my screen. And mine, because it's smaller, needed like a different end point and I did not I had to unscrew my motherboard three times because I was not putting the pegs in the right place so that was really really frustrating mostly because I got like in there and I thought I had them in place and then I was like oh here's another hole oh here's another hole like I kept forgetting ones so I, I'm not really sure how to help you like avoid that, but just double and triple check your motherboard and make sure all of your holes have pegs so that it can be mounted safely. <laughs> that, that, that's probably my biggest one there because it is super frustrating to have to like pull your motherboard back out, add something, put it in, and then do it all over again. Super frustrating. that was the power supply we like zoomed through that that was me like connecting up some of the cords for the power supply and then I was trying to do a little bit of like planning and cord management and it kind of got messy and I just decided to cut that part out something I would change in the in, in like if I were to do this in the future my case has a hard drive case in the very bottom where my cords are and I saw a few people who were just like, plug all your cords in before you put your power supply in, and then put your power supply in. Well, nobody really said like, you should take this out if you don't need it. It would give you a lot more room. And so at first I like, I plugged all my cords in and I'm like trying to get the power supply in and it was just super tight. And then I finally like did some research and I'm like, oh, I don't even need this hard drive case because I don't have a hard drive going in here. So I eventually did take out the like case part and it gave more room. You can see the case there actually. But it gave some more room for the power supply and all of the wires. Especially since I forgot to plug something in and had to get my hand in that little space later so I could plug it into the power supply. I mean, overall, I had a few mistakes. Like, 
I had a few mistakes, but being a first time computer builder, I like, I think I did okay. <laughs> it's stuff that I feel like you just gotta learn as you go, or you watch maybe way too many tutorial videos and like learn everybody's mistakes, right? So either you just get in there and you start and you do it and learn, or you don't, <laughs> I guess. But so that, that was some of the stuff that I kind of ran into some problems with. You will see, I like, I put my power cord, this power supply cord here this way. I do adjust that later. I didn't like the way it looked and I was trying to make it look a little less like I had cords running all through it. I still have more cords showing in a way that I don't love, but I feel like I did okay. So don't, don't hate on this massive big cord off to the right because it will disappear, I promise. And this is the back. I don't, I'm really, I think I'm just like cord management. I think that's all I was really doing in this part is, and I, I really apparently didn't get a very good shot of what was going on there. So there you go, there's the back. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, installing the graphics card was also kind of difficult because these two plates here that I'm like pulling off don't actually line up very well with my graphics card. I almost needed this to be like a solid section and not have that middle bar in between the two. That probably would have worked out a lot better for my unit and I don't know if that's a case problem. I'm, or because I have like a mini motherboard, I'm not really sure. But it does, it is a little bit, like I have one um, USB port that is kind of iffy. It's pretty dang close to the actual um, case because of the way those little grills maybe are, are done. It's just, so, I, again, I'm not really sure if that's like a, uh, a case problem, a motherboard problem or what, but it's, it's just a little tight. And I tried, I tried to get it so that as I was like putting the screw in, I could like leave a little bit of a gap, but it just doesn't work because there's, there's not much space there. So, I mean, overall, like I still can use that USB port. It's just, it's tight. It's a little tight. <laughs> okay, and here is the final shot. You can see I've done some fuel management here and things will look a little bit cleaner. And yeah, now let's see her fired up and in action. I just love it. I love it so much. Um, well, that's gonna be everything, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate you so heckin' much. If you have questions, let me know. Again, I'm not a professional. This is like, I was learning on the job. I was watching lots of videos, making sure things were going in the right place, but this is it. This is my very first ever PC build and I am loving it. It runs so smoothly. I can run things that I've not been able to run before. I don't have like loading scenes that take forever. It's been uh, just like, I mean, it's like a blessing when you do a lot of, um, online work or video editing, writing, any of the things and gaming, any of that stuff. This is just such a relief to have like a well oiled running machine. So that, yeah, this is everything. And I hope you guys have a really great day and I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.